Having played Demon's Souls for the very first time on PS5 over Christmas, it's safe to say that the game absolutely kicked my ass from start to finish. Seriously, it completely made me its bitch throughout the 40 odd hours I was playing this thing, as I died over and over and over again. Mostly on the bosses is where I got used to seeing that you've died screen. It was so heartbreaking to die there and then have to repeat the whole level. I can't tell you how annoying that was. But with persistence, I eventually managed to beat most of the bosses. After several attempts, maybe finding a safer strategy using my magic build to kill them, or maybe I just couldn't beat them and eventually just did them in co-op with another person helping me out. Some encounters also got me to think really strategically and make use of some of the rings like the thief's ring for this black phantom in the prison. If you run away with that equipped, he loses sight of you, allowing you to quickly run back to him and backstab him, and I just repeated that until he was dead. Cheap way to do it, but hey, it worked and I got past it. And as a beginner, the recommendation for me to use a magic build was a definite help, especially with bosses like the Maiden Australia fight, as it just made it really easy. But even then, every victory I had in this game, whether it was a boss or a normal enemy, felt great. It was like I climbed a mini mountain, but it always left me wondering what was next. And trust me, when going for the Platinum, this was like climbing multiple mountains to conquer this bad boy. But what broke me the most? And in order to answer that, I've come up with a nice special video for this Demon Souls, that one bullshit trophy, as I'm going to be talking about my top five most bullshit demon boss trophies. So the trophies themselves might not be that bad, but the boss fights is what I'm talking about here. The ones that just really, really pissed me off, made me feel like they were really cheap, or just gave me a really hard time. That's what we're talking about in today's episode. So let's get started. Number 5. First up is Dragon's God, and I know some of you veterans of the game might be thinking that's a strange choice because this is a very easy boss fight, but for me it's bullshit because it was a puzzle boss fight, and after being several hours into the game at this point when I faced him, having already fought and defeated several other bosses, I just wasn't expecting the dragon fight to be like this, like a puzzle fight and not just a head head to head battle. So the trick to this one is to smash the pillars that are blocking your path to these like spear guns uh, when the dragon's not looking at you otherwise he will either grab you with his claw and sort of kill you that way or he will burn you to death and this one it just took a lot of trial and error to try and figure out how you did it and I spent so much bloody time using the magic to try and shoot the fallen pillars from far away uh, only to eventually break them after I drained all my magic and then get killed because I got caught by the dragon and burnt to death having to then do the whole fucking thing over again and just sit there with the magic firing off every couple of minutes before I could move forward to the next pillar it was just a really annoying fight to be honest, I didn't really enjoy this one at all. You know, it's a big dragon and I thought it would have been cool to have a proper fight, but this one was just a bit, it just felt a bit cheap because it was hard at times to see whether he was looking at you or not. And I know his eyes sort of glowed a different colour if he spotted you, but if he did spot you, you were kind of fucked in anyway because you couldn't really get away. And sometimes I'd be behind those large rocks and I'd think he'd be looking the other way and I'd run out and then he would just kill me anyway. And it was just, it just got to a point where it was just really frustrating. And I made the boss even harder on myself because I was using the, um, the, the gloves to get the trophy for killing him with the gloves by punching him. So once you get to this final stage of the boss after shooting him with the two spears, you have to then attack his chin. But using these gloves, it meant that I was doing barely any damage. So it took me a bloody age to get past this bit. I had to make sure I didn't get burnt on his breath. What a pain in the ass boss that was. Number four, the armor spider boss. Now this was an absolute pain. I really, 
really didn't like this boss as this just felt like one of the worst design bosses and one of the most schizophrenic bosses in the entire game because one time you could go into this boss and he wouldn't really attack you would maybe just do the single fireball and the occasional web allowing you to get up to him other times he would just constantly spam the three fireball and just fucking die instantly it was just so fucking annoying, especially if he sort of stun locks you by knocking you down with a fireball, only to then shoot the web over you, so when you stand up, you're just going really slow or just stuck in place, so he can then just pick you off until you die. It was just an absolute nightmare, and once you get slowed by the webs, you're pretty much fucked, because you just have to sort of walk around, and you can't really dodge things at that point. So it was just really annoying to just even reach him to start doing damage to him. That was a challenge in itself, and then, on those odd times where I actually get right up to him he would just do this bullshit by leaking a load of oil on the floor and torching the whole room with the only safe area being right at the very fucking beginning by the fog door are you fucking kidding me he was just absolutely horrible to fight against and I had to look online to see how best I could beat him with magic and once again the magic build proved to be really useful as you could just stand in these corners of the tunnel and he wouldn't be able to hit you with the fireballs so you could just basically take pot shots at him with your magic to slowly drain his health and yeah it did take me quite a while but it was the safest way to take out the armored spider early on and as it was one of the early fights it was definitely one I needed to get past. Number three the tower knight Oh my god, this guy was an absolute bastard to kill. This was only the second boss, and after getting lured in with a full sense of security after easily dispatching the flanks boss without getting killed, I had a false sense of confidence going into this battle, and it was quickly taken from me and the smile on my face was quickly wiped off as this guy just completely dominated me again and again and again so as you can probably tell it's a giant knight with a huge shield that he will slam down onto the ground causing a big area of effect attack to come out as well as a giant spear and he just destroyed me straight away pretty much I barely scratched him and that's how the first one went, and that's kind of how the second attempt went. Again, he got me with that bloody shield when he slammed it down, and it just, it just robbed all my health. And the third attempt was pretty much the same. I was trying this time to stay away from him a little bit and get him with my magic, but he still could reach me with that shield because he's just so big. And what makes it a bit harder is there's also archers in the area that are shooting at you so you've got him to watch out for and all of these arrows flying at you and when he's slamming his shield down constantly it's and they're shooting you it's hard to get into a safe spot to heal and whenever I tried to heal that usually killed me too and I did make this fight twice as hard on myself because I was also going for the trophy where you had to defeat him without killing the archers so it just made the trophy, the attempt for the boss fight even harder and it was just an absolute pain because I would dodge him and then I would end up getting shot by one of the archers and that would stun me a little bit and then maybe he would end up hitting me then and it was just, it was just horrible and no matter what I did really, rolling out of the way, I just couldn't seem to do it, I couldn't seem to dodge that shield whenever it slammed and every death I had against this boss it just angered me even more and just made me even more frustrated, especially when I felt like I'd rolled away and I still got hit with the shield and don't even mention that fucking spear, Jesus Christ there's a fucking reach on that thing and again it's just one hit kill and just completely fucking dominating me as well, that took me out at least three times, it's just ugh absolutely heartbreaking every time I died to this fucker Ugh, I, and trust me I died I died a lot I think I think in the end by the end of the game this is probably one of if not the uh, boss that killed me the most it took me so many attempts to just beat this fucker it was an absolute nightmare uh, yeah and like some of the deaths I felt like this one were just bullshit I mean look at this this one really took a piss in my opinion. So I'm running away a little bit here and he does this backwards jump and he's not actually attacking, he's just moving. So his foot just clips me in the face and that kills me. 
I was so fucking angry at that point. I, tell you, I had to walk away from the game at that point. But eventually, I did start to get better. And the trick is to hit his heels so you cause him to fall. And then you can attack his head to do even more damage. But for me, I just felt like it was too awkward with the archers because they were just too much. I would be doing really well or I'd be chipping away at the, the boss. But then they would shoot me. Or like here, you can see, as I'm trying to get back up, I end up getting shot by an archer and killed. So at that point, I just thought, you know what, fuck it. I've died too many times at this stage, and I just want to get past this. So I did just run up those stairs at the back there, and kill all of the archers around the area. And after that, the boss wasn't as bad. I started to learn his patterns, and eventually, after a couple of more attempts, I finally beat him and unlocked the Tower's Knight's Trophy. But sadly, I didn't get the other one. And it wasn't until New Game Plus where I had to come back round and do this trophy. But this time, I had a different sort of strategy. I used the Thief's Ring to make myself invisible, as well as some other thing I can't remember the name of. And I, I, it worked really well, because he couldn't always see me. And it made the archers not be able to shoot me as much. And then I got the one self all trophy. But fucking hell, he was a pain. Number two. The one. The only. The piping hot, angry, horny son of a bitch that is the flame lurker. Who is an absolute fucking cunt. Seriously, what a cunt this boss was. Ah, oh, where to begin? Well, this guy, unlike most of the other bosses, is an absolute relentless bastard who will just chase you all around the arena that you're in and he won't stop until you're dead and even then he'll still throw in a few more dicks before he fucks up. You are just never safe or at least I never felt safe for him. Even when I was hiding behind pillars he could still hit me like most enemies in the game he could just hit through fucking objects which is bullshit anyway but yeah I just never felt safe because he was always on my ass and even when he would get stuck in certain corners of the area and I think I could just take a shot at him until he was dead he would still kill me because he would just suddenly pop out of this loop that he was in and then just kill me instantly fucking hell but the most horrible thing he did to me was when I was doing really well on a run and he actually snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. I was so fucking close to getting him and I just panicked and I tried to heal and then I just lost my rhythm and he just made me pay the ultimate price and took me out when he had so little health left and that was probably the only real time that happened against any of the bosses when I was just so close and naturally straight after that for another five or six attempts I could never get anywhere near that good again and he would just kill me outright for most of my other attempts and that just made me even more angry and frustrated because I knew I could do it I was almost there and then I failed and I just couldn't get back to that point so eventually I did get a stranger in to help me with this and even then it was still tough because the both of us were still getting smacked around by this fucker but he couldn't really handle two people from two opposite directions taking him out so whenever he was attacking the other guy I could go in and attack and vice versa and eventually I did get this trophy with another person and while you could say that is cheating it is in the game and I did go and help the guy get it in his world straight after so I did return the favour and I didn't just fuck off and carry on with the game so I do feel like I kind of redeemed myself a bit there because I helped the guy get it in his world as well but yeah the flame lurker was a right pain in the ass. My hatred for this boss is probably why I slowly poisoned him to death in New Game Plus when I was hiding behind a pillar where he couldn't see me. It took about 20 minutes to do it but it was very satisfying to kill him that way. So before we get to number one, let's take a look at some dishonourable mentions. First up, we have the bridge turret gun thingy. This was just a fucking joke. This thing killed me multiple times because it's really hard to dodge it, especially when you're getting closer and closer to it. The time to roll is even tighter at that point. And it, it did kill me a couple of times, I'm not going to lie, and it really pissed me off because it was a long slog back to that point just to die again, and I think I lost a few souls on this bridge as well. 
Uh, I mean, I even did this look running amongst the wall to try and get the timings down to eventually roll past it. And after a couple of attempts, a couple of failed attempts that is, I did get past it, but my god, it was a pain in the ass. And I eventually found out in my New Game Plus run that you didn't even have to do that. You could actually go around it because there's another way you can go around to come up behind it and turn it off. I was just like, fucking hell. All those deaths for nothing, really. I could have done this later on in my New Game Plus run. Also, i got to mention the fight with um, one of the Phantoms in particular, which what I thought was, like, a really good fight. He was bullshit because he could kill me in, like, one hit, usually. But the fight with Suzuki was just great because it was one of the few fights in the game that I had where it was a proper sword fight. Being a mage build, I was using magic and mostly fighting people from a distance if I could, only ever really attacking them with a sword when I had no other option. Um, but this was like a whole fight with sword fights and shield blocking, which I thought was really cool because whenever I tried to use magic on him, which I did at the start, he would always roll out of the way and he, it was just a waste of resources doing it that way. So it was a proper fight that I was forced to have and sure enough, this guy kicked my ass loads of times. It took me a long time to get him down and just to figure out how to fight him properly like efficiently safely but effectively at the same time because like i said he could easily kill me with one swipe of his sword and if i wasn't aggressive enough and i left him alone for a bit he would heal as well and he did that a couple of times on me when i got his health down really low and that was just frustrating as hell as well because you, you think you're about to beat him and he just he heals and i know i could heal on him but when the computer does it against you it's always like fuck the son of a bitch you know but yeah, this was a great fight, and I, I really enjoyed it. It's one of my favourite fights in the whole game, because it was just really satisfying to just have that duel, basically. And once I finally beat him, it was just, yeah, it was a great feeling. So, with those out of the way, I guess all that's left is for me to show you my number one pick for the most bullshit boss trophy in Demon Souls on PS5. And if you played the game, well, it'll be pretty obvious, because it's the man-eater, perhaps the most bullshit boss in the game. But before I tell you why, let me show you my New Game Plus run of this boss fight. This is how it went down. And I know what you're thinking, that seemed pretty easy, right, didn't it? I mean, it only took a couple of magic spells to kill each one. Well, this is how it went down in my first run through of Demon Souls. These bosses are kind of like the Flame Lurker in that they are fucking aggressive and they will just fucking be on you until they kill you. <sighs> and if they don't kill you, well, his mate will come in halfway through the fight, so you have to fight two of the fuckers, and that one will probably end up killing you because he'll just hit you in the back as you're busy trying to fight the other one that you've been working on all this time. And if they don't manage to kill you, you'll end up killing yourself because you fight on these narrow walkways, and if you end up trying to roll out the way of an enemy attack, you'll probably end up rolling off the edge of the cliff, falling to your fucking death, which is always fucking annoying, and even worse, if that doesn't all kill you, you'll probably end up dying by the fucking phantom that will just lick your fucking face on the staircase before you get to the boss, which is always fun to fucking die there, isn't it? Oh my god, this boss fight is just horrible. The bosses themselves, they aren't too bad. If you were on an open, flat floor, the boss fight would be okay. You could manage the both of them. But the fact that you're on these little walkways that you can so easily fall off or get knocked off by the enemies just makes it ten times more harder, more awkward, and more importantly, more bullshit than it ever needed to be. This was the most frustrating bullshit and cheap boss fight in the entire game for me. I really, really didn't enjoy it, and it was just ruined 
by the environment that you're fighting in because there's just no real good spot to fight. There's a circular bit at the top of the walkways that connects them together, but even there you're sort of blocked off and they will easily knock you off the edge at that point. So you're better off luring them to a walkway and fight, trying to fight them there without rolling off the edge. And this one was just an absolute pain and I really didn't enjoy this boss fight. And that is why this is my number one pick for the most bullshit boss fight trophies in Demon's Souls. The Man Eaters trophy was definitely the worst one for me to get. What's your worst one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching.